Did you buy a trail runner body or a trail runner and want to put all your accessories on and don't really know how or don't feel comfortable doing it? Well, stay tuned. I'll show you how to do it. Hey everybody, it's Cody, Dixon RC here. So I got the trail runner body. I, I worked out a deal with somebody that won one of mine or whatever. So I've got one that I'm going to use for another project. So this thing comes with a lot of molded pieces. Now some of them don't come on the car, some of them do. You get you get wipers, you get the cowl, or no, you get, excuse me, you get wipers, you get uh, door handles and a rear valance and a rear spoiler and the grill. The pieces that do not come included on the car are the mirrors, the snorkel, the roof rack, and the bumper if you wanted to use it. You do not have to use that, and we'll go over that in just a minute. But what I'm going to do is show you how to install your roof rack, install your snorkel, and your mirrors. Um, and we may discuss some other stuff as, along the lines as well. I've got some other plans I want to do with this body. But I'm going to show you all the different things and how to install them and what all comes in your little molded parts bag. Uh, so just hang tight, I'm gonna come around here so we can go from the top, I'll show you what to do. So hang on, be right back. All right, so we're gonna show you all the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna move this body just a little bit so you can see some things. So this thing comes with multiple little parts trees with different stuff on it. Of course, you cut off your, your roof rack. It's got four pieces along with the two side rails. Then you cut off your snorkel along with your two little mounting brackets as well. They're small little pieces. Um, now the mirrors come in a separate bag. It'll be mirrors and then two mounting brackets as well. And you get another tree. I'm assuming this tree probably had the bumper on it as well, but you know, during shipping and stuff, it breaks. Uh, so you get the center part of the bumper, you get a fair lead, the two outer pieces, and then two little shackles. Um, and these are also, these outer pieces for the bumper are LED ready, and it does come with two LEDs ready to go. To, these will actually hook up directly to your uh, ESC that's in the truck already. Uh, you get a bag of hardware. Pay attention when you, before you start your roof rack. Make sure it's got these two little uh, silver pins in them. Uh, my, this one did not have these pins, but I had another truck here, and it did have them. So I'm going to use them for now to show you how to do this. So first off, you, what you will need to do this is a good pair of scissors. I suggest a nice pair of, you can get a pair of my Dixieland RC uh, curved scissors and straight scissors to cut all this stuff off of the parts trees because you get a nice smooth end when you go to cut it. Because see, like that right there, you can kind of see that spot there. Well, if you, you know, you can cut it off so it's nice and smooth. So do that. That's good for that. Also, you will need a two millimeter drill bit. Uh, this one is for the snorkel. There's only three bolts for the snorkel. And you'll need a three millimeter drill bit for the, the six holes on the top of, for the roof rack. Um, there are indentions. I don't know if I'll be able to show. Yeah, there they are right there. So there's little indentions to where you want to drill. Uh, I recommend using a hand drill just for this. Usually using a drill drill is a good idea as well, but you know, there's no screws that hold all this molding stuff on or glue. These little mounting brackets are so tight with the pieces that come through. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. It's really cool that they did that. And it's a less, uh, I guess it's probably it's less damaging when they pull off of the car. Say if you snag something on the door handle that pulls it off, it won't tear the Lexan because of the fact that it's got little pieces and they'll release. So, we're going to do the mirrors first only because they came pre-drilled. The so you can see the holes in it, they're already there. So you get each mirror, you know which side's which. There's no need to, to try and you can pay attention to how the angle is here and how it goes into the truck here. The other idea, what you want to do is make sure that you line. I mean, there's no really no wrong way to do this because the holes are already there. So you flip it over and you'll get your two little mounting brackets here. Flat side goes to the body, so you'll take them and, of course, this is probably not going to be super easy to do, of course, on film. <laughs> uh, see, they just press in. Uh, I don't really know if there's a, a good way to do this or not, but that's in there, but that's really loose, so that's not really going to work too well. So 
we're gonna I'm gonna move some of this other stuff out of the way so I don't make a super mess here figure out a way to hold it down and then see, put some real pressure to it and of course that worked on the bottom one but the top one is still got some Whew. Well, that worked a little bit okay so that worked that worked you just got to put a lot of a lot of oomph into it so that works let's put the other one in here this is not good for my hands guys it hurts my hands are hands are no good at this stuff so at least get it in there and get the other one started that one went right on there this one did uh, kind of a little bit better that was a little bit easier than the other one still needs to be pressed down i would say probably using a nice little for this one a two millimeter some sort of tool using the boom that's the boom scale tool oh yeah that's nice there oh yeah that works so there we go we got mirrors on it so now we will do the uh i've got the three mil bit in already so let's put the roof rack together and then put it on the car so you'll take the roof rack this is the left side you can tell because the way the curvature is in the back then you take the right side so what you do is you take these little two mil roll pins you will put them in i don't know how far you would go but uh probably find some sort of flat piece of metal that you can do and press probably do half in there let's do this other side here move that out the way Oof. now in the instructions it doesn't really tell you any of these tells you what to do so you just kind of get it as close as you can it doesn't have to be perfect perfect now this will be the hardest part of it because you have to put each make sure you put bottom to bottom make sure you put bottom to bottom and top to top because you could do that wrong i would imagine you got to press it together and it is no fun there we go so do that side probably be a good idea to do these a little bit at a time oh boy that is tight well they did this tight now, this is the good thing about this i know it's tight and it seems like it's going to be a pain to do but here's the other side of that is it's so tight that it will that means it's going to hold together pretty well whenever the time comes to actually get out and trail with it so kind of bend it a little bit but it'll be all right so there you go there so on the roof rack there's indentions there 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 and there that's where each of these little straps go they just snap on uh, i kind of wish that was a little bit tighter i know i talked about how tight everything else was but that's really not that tight i guess it will be okay i don't foresee it being a problem but we, i mean you shall see when you roll over let's hope you don't roll this thing over that much though so so let's go got that all right so that's it completely put together i said completely that's not a word so it's complete enough to put on the truck so see you can do that there now this is probably one of those things that it's hit or miss depending on if you want to do this or not i i think it looks good it kind of completes the way this truck looks in this overlandish style that you're kind of going for here so next part will be to try and find each indention now this is tough and i'm gonna be it's gonna be hard for me to do this and film it let's see if i can get glare on it enough to where i can put a screw in this thing so you find the hole put pressure and just start drilling of course you're doing it by hand so you got to there we go most of the time that's not that hard to do as far as just take your time and get it and it will go through so make sure your spot will fit in there you want it to be kind of tight i do anyway <laughs> all right so the next couple ones i'm just going to speed through so i'll be back all right so i got your i got my holes drilled uh, the good thing about it, you can, or not the good thing, the good thing to do is to go on the inside when you drill and make sure you ain't got a whole lot of debris. Uh, that's hard to, 
kind of hard to get rid of the biggest thing that I've learned or that I've seen to do is take a, a little reamer and just you know push the pieces in like that and then just take the reamer and it cuts it right off so so like see this one's got a little piece right there so you take the reamer go in there and just turn it a little bit don't cut anything just turn it just enough to it de like deburs it that's what it does that's a good way to put that so so like that one's got spots you take that and do that and it breaks the, the burrs off. See like that. There it is. So we're good there. Lots of debris on the table though. So this is held in. You just put in each one individually here. Make sure it's in there. That's where you want it. You know, that kind of deal there. Press in each piece. Make sure each piece is pressed in all the way because it looks like it will pop out if it wants to. Now, this is the tough part. So, what they want you to do is take, uh, like most interior parts that you get from multiple places, o rings and body clips. So, it's no fun, but it's not that bad, really and truly. It's a little aggravating, but it's not too bad. So you take each little O-ring that comes in the hardware kit, and you just put it down like that. You find your little body clip. Hopefully it's this way. I didn't even look to see what way the holes are. Oh, they're, they're this way. So you have to put the pin in this way. Not this way, but this way. So figure out where the hole is. Stick it in there. And make sure you get on each side of the o-ring get a small little flathead if you need to to push down the o-ring on that side the other side there because it's never going to be correct man I hate that because it's so close to the body there oh that is nerve-wracking I don't like putting these on either because of that as well so we'll do the next one here it's a good idea to try and get it from the get pushed down while you're pushing that way because it helps it uh, miss the other side of the o-ring because each side of the o-ring it'll catch it and go underneath it so what I mean by that is you take it and you'll put it in the hole here and then while you're pressing it push down on it so it so it goes on the other side of the o-ring see how it can it goes on top of the o-ring instead of on the bottom because it will go to the bottom of the o-ring and then you got a problem because if it snaps the o-ring and you got problems with that so do that on each one of these that one went on super easy there that's great don't lose all your little clips either because that can happen this one won't be as easy as the last one push down and it goes right over nothing to it This going to need. There we go. All right, so there's our roof rack. It is installed on the roof. You still got places to put your clips to as well. That's good to have. All right, so now we'll do our snorkel. It is three bolt holes, and you can kind of see there's one there, one there, and I think there's one right here. Um, and they are, you will use a two millimeter bolt or a two millimeter drill bit. Of course, this is, if, you, if you're in this hobby and you have not in, uh, invested yourself in a good set of metric drill bits, do it. And be sure and get the one that comes with this little hand drill as well. Because it's very useful to have. It's very helpful to have little small drill bits laying around to drill holes out and stuff like that. Especially for like this. Like we're, we've done this here and this is great to have. All right, so let's drill out these last couple of holes. Make sure your fingers are not in the way because uh, I've done that and it hurts. Really badly, actually. So, finding the holes. Looks like one hole is right there on the body seam where they put the body together. 
That should be fun to do. Hang on, I'll be right back. I can't see. I put in nice new LED lights in the shop and I still can't see. <laughs> so. The pillar one will be fun because you kind of kind of look for it and you got and it's on an angle so you got to watch for it to move. Luckily, if you put enough juice into it from the get-go, it'll start, and there it goes. So we're good. Okay. Make sure you miss out from hitting your dang mirrors there, which I did. Yep, I knocked off one of them. I knocked off a mirror. How about that? We'll put that. Put your mirrors on last. How about that? <laughs> All right, so you'll take your, this is the same general idea as the top. You've got two little brackets that hold it on. So you'll take it, find your holes here, try to guide them in the best you can. Probably gonna be tough to do. It looks like the mirror's right in the dang way. Put this one on, put this one in first, or at least attempt to put it in. Or it could have been the fact that I drilled them wrong. <laughs> eh, that's close enough. There we go. Oof. All right, there we go. It's in there. They come through. So it's nothing to it, really, as far as that goes, putting that on there. You got to make sure. So this has an angle to it as well. So you got to make sure the angle is correct to the body line. All right, so you put your two last little pieces on here. Shove them in there as hard as you can. Take your little one. Do the same thing. Got to pay attention to where the bend is as far as how it goes on to the I don't know if that really that one really yeah maybe it does yeah it's got a little bit of a bend to it so you'll want the bend like that pointing this way so it will yeah you want it to go maybe you don't want it that way I don't know okay so when you do this, make sure, see, you can see there's a gap. I got a slight gap right there. So try and press it in if you can and press down on this mount here. Ooh, that is no fun there. So that should hold. See how they come out and it holds there? That took the gap away. So that's good. So I don't know what to do about that one. So, all right, there we go. So we have the snorkel installed. We have the mirrors installed. Oh, I got to put the other mirror back on. That other mirror come off. So, let's do that. Flat piece first, flat piece to the body. Let's see if I can do it this way here. There we go, that works. So let me redo this one as well. Like I say, probably a good idea to do the mirrors last because you don't have to worry about them popping off while you're moving it around kind of deal. So, now let's talk about the front bumper. It comes in pieces, so this is the front bumper. So, if you want to add just this, you can. You put it in the car. This stays there. You'll cut off this here, this line, and then this goes in its place. So, you can run just this part here if you wanted to with a fair lead, whatever. Or you can add these secondary or these outside pieces as well. If you wanted to, notice, see I didn't cut that. See how it's going to leave that little piece there? So this goes here, and it bolts in there like that. Of course, see, that doesn't matter because you can't see that. But it does, you take it and you put it there. You put two bolts here, and there you go. And then you've got the, side, the whole piece. But you have to remove this bumper, and it only removes, I think, those two clips right there. You take, that, you take those off, and this is th it's a 3M double-sided tape right here and then boom you take this part that part comes off of the uh, you'll take that part off of the uh, fender flares as well so then you get a full full 
bumper piece here like that. So you'll get the whole, the whole thing. Um, and then the lights go in as well. Uh, these do not, there's no light uh, stoppers, meaning the pieces that go in there hold the LEDs in. What they actually want you to do is use a little bitty screw. And I'm assuming what it does is just holds the, it'll just hold the, the you know, it'll barely hold in that part of the LED, which should be fine. I don't foresee that being a problem. Um, it does come with a, a, a plastic fair lead. There is a metal option fair lead out as well that Team Associated makes, but it just goes on there like that. No problem, nothing to it. Mine's gonna stay without those because I don't want uh, bumpers uh, on it because it's gonna go on a different kind of rig. So um, other plan is, is this thing does have frosted windows on it. I'm probably gonna pull this window off, uh, just cut. I'm gonna cut around the moldings and I'm probably gonna cut the front windows out as well and leave the back, the tinted that they are because that actually looks good and it actually does have like defrost lines in it. So that's cool as well. Overall, man, this is a nice body. I love it. I love how it, I actually like the 4Runner S style and how it looks and it looks really good with all these add-ons on it as well. So great deal. And this body is available with all these pieces separately uh, for like $97, I think is what it is, what it's gonna wind up listing for online. So, but it comes with everything, so you ain't got to worry about that. So, I may wind up having one of those on the site at one day. Who knows? I may actually stock them. Who knows? So, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this how-to of how to put all your accessories on your trail runner body because uh, there is really nothing out there for it. The instructions really uh, don't have, I'll show you. It just kind of shows you where it goes. It doesn't really give you any any more ideas than that it does like say say you want to drill your holes for your roof rack it doesn't tell you what size uh, so I took that took care of that for you to figure out what you need which which is a two mil and a three mil two mil for the snorkel and three mil for the uh, roof rack as well so thanks for watching everybody appreciate it give me a thumbs up hit like subscribe do everything you know you're supposed to do so thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time